abandoned building's history, know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close to In unrelated news, the trivia murder party killer is still on the loose. Sassafras. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Your free spa weekend was a lie, luring you into this deadly trivia game. Only one of you will survive. And that one survivor better leave this hotel a glowing review online. I will not be screwed over by TripAdvisor again. Alright, first question. Which of these is not one of the four fundamental forces of flight? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, it's time. Welcome to room 101. It's non-smoking. Ah yes, tattoos. Create a new tattoo on my back by drawing on your device. That's some sweet ink! Now vote for your favorite tat. The artist with the fewest votes will die. What did we decide? This might actually look worse after it heals. Time for a little pay back. We're not done with you yet. Dying doesn't mean you have to drop out. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's try another one. I feel like punishing young people. Who are the little green construction workers down at Fraggle Rock? Who picked this? Well, that sucks. Let's keep moving. In Greek mythology, who designed the Minotaur's maze? Who picked this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Time for consequences. Salutations! Welcome back to the killing room. Let's play with dice. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the player with the lowest score. But go over 21 and you die instead. And don't forget, if they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. It's like blackjack, but with dice. And skulls. Look, it, it made sense when I first put it together, okay? It's your last chance to sneak a few extra rolls in. Uh-oh. 
looks like you didn't roll enough. <laughs> Being in this hotel makes me feel like a kid again. A kid that kills people. But hey, every family has its quirks. Let's try another one. What country produces the most pulp and paper in the world? Who picked this? The rest of you who are still alive, I want to show you something. I hope you're good with instructions. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. The player who follows the fewest rules correctly dies. The rules are already on your device. Go, go! Is it clear that this game is called Rules because you have to follow a bunch of rules? Man, main stuff is hard. Rule time is coming to an end! Bye! We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question! What's the official name of that stick conductors wave around to lead an orchestra? Who picked this? Follow me. There's nothing more fun than fogged up mirrors. The ghost of my Aunt Mildred loves to write words on mirrors. She has her own consistent handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word. But so will everyone else. Draw a word on the mirror and maybe you'll trick someone into thinking it's Aunt Mildred's. Start writing on that mirror. Watch closely. One of these new words will be a word written by Aunt Mildred's ghost. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote or you die. Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Looks like there's no fooling you. Aren't you special? You know what that means. I wrote this next question just for you. If you get it right, I will punish everyone else. Who is James Bond's boss? Oh. And the correct answer is... Did you get the question right? You succeeded! The rest will suffer. It's the mind meld. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. Including any potential mind readers.
The answer time is coming to an end. Now, let's see if there are any matches. Well, I guess mind reading doesn't exist after all. Did I say that out loud? Let's keep moving. What type of rock is chalk? Who picked this? I'll have to kill my writers. Let's try another one. Which book is written by my homeboy, Cormac McCarthy? Who picked this? Come with me. Math! It's back, baby! Do as much math as you can before time runs out. If you do the worst, you die. Let's go! How's that math going, Matthew McConaughey? Only a couple seconds of math left. I guess you plus math equals dead. Let's keep moving. What town is known as the City of a Hundred Spires? Who picked this? Time for consequences. This decision will weigh on you. Everyone pick an elevator door. If you all pick the same side, you all live. But if there's a split decision, I will kill everyone on the heavier side. Talk amongst yourselves. You all seem trustworthy. Let's see where you all landed. Uh-oh. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Famous duos where one is a dog. Tap each. Let's see the right answers. You advance one space for every correct answer. You're a little bit closer to escaping. Plot twist. All the ghosts get to play too. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. I don't know if you can outrun those ghosts. Chicken breeds.
Celebrity Perfumes. That ghost can smell your life force. Don't look behind you. It's only darkness. U.S. Monopoly Streets. Time is almost up. I'm going too easy on you. Coexisted with dinosaurs. The tables have turned. Played by Moyer. Another life swap! Launched online before 2000. Time. Geometric angles. Time is almost up. The darkness approaches. This will slow you down. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. 